In this lesson, I will describe what cache coherence is and how it is implemented on modern uh, multi-core processors. Uh, in short, cache coherence is nothing more than a replication protocol that handles the replication of the data on the different caches in a multi-core processor. Let's first see why do we need the coherence in the first place. In this simplified model of a CPU processor, we have uh, the processing cores and the memory that contains the data that uh, the cores uh, uh, utilize. In this model, we don't need the coherence because the consistency of the data is guaranteed by the fact that both uh, cores are accessing the data uh, from the main memory. However, this is not a realistic model of a CPU because um, uh, modern processors do not only contain the main memory, but also contain several uh, levels of uh, CPU caches. A cache is a smaller but faster memory that contains uh, copies of the data that are frequently accessed from uh, the main memory. So this is a more realistic uh, model of a modern uh, multi-core processor. Apart from uh, the CPU cores and the main memory, we have three levels of uh, caches. Uh, the L3 cache, similarly to the main memory, is uh, shared uh, between the across the cores of uh, the CPU, while the L1 and L2 caches are private to its uh, core. Because these uh, caches are private, uh, we have the need for cache coherence. Imagine if uh, Core 1 writes uh, some uh, data X on uh, its L1, and then Core uh, 0 wants to read this data. Without coherence, Core 0 might try to find the data in the main memory, and inevitably it will bring some uh, stale uh, data because the latest copy of uh, this uh, data object X uh, resides in the L1 of uh, Core 1. This is the purpose of uh, the cache coherence protocol to find the data from the L1 of uh, core 1 and bring the latest copy of X to core uh, 0. The coherence uh, needs to handle the uh, different combinations of uh, events. So wh what happens if uh, core 1 has uh, uh, an object X in the L1 because it has uh, read the data or it uh, wrote uh, to the data? And then core 0 wants to access X for a read or a write. In general, uh, modern coherence protocols implement multiple reader, single writer semantics. This means that a copy of the data can exist in read mode in several uh, private uh, caches, but then if a core wants to write on the data, it has to invalidate all the pre-existing copies of uh, this memory object. The implementation of cache coherence uh, extends the normal operation of uh, caches. In general, when some data are loaded in the cache, they are loaded in blocks of 64 uh, bytes. So even when we want to load a simple integer x in a cache, we load the, the whole 64 bytes in the vicinity of uh, this uh, uh, integer. This block of 64 bytes is what we call a cache line. A cache line consists of a state flag and of course the 64 bytes of uh, data. When we do not have a cache coherence, the state flag takes just two values. It can either be valid, which means that uh, the data in this uh, cache line are valid and can be actually used by the processor, or invalid, which indicates that uh, the data are not uh, valid and are just uh, garbage in the cache line. Coherence protocols extend this set of states. In a subsequent lesson, I will describe the messy coherence protocol that is the most commonly used protocols on modern hardware.